Good morning, folks. Half the world's in drought, the other half is not. This is the latest out of North Korea where neighboring China and other regional states have been pounded with cyclone after cyclone. Not exactly stopping now. We're not sure if that weather is what's caused the electrical malfunctions leading to the reactor shutdown in South Korea. Yesterday, corn prices broke a record. Keep this situation in the back of your mind, and this one as well. There's nothing you can do about it, but the mainstream media theater is how you learn their timelines and what ideas the elites are pushing. That volcano on watch two weeks ago in New Zealand is shaking again. Low warning level, but the worry is building. In Western Australia, the fish death in Swan River just got a little worse. They will update Torcon later today. Check it out. The red in the southeast is for this morning. Right now, actually, this is the 5.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time shot. Pop-up storm over Georgia and Alabama. Probably can't keep calling this data error if it keeps happening like this. Large signatures here. You can see this density drop to zero in the pitch angle below. Essentially, this thing sees the cosmic weather in a steady stream, and something made that stop go a different direction. Solar wind speed is up top. This coronal whole stream was kind of wimpy, wasn't it? We never really saw the speed get up near where we've seen it before. It didn't last very long either. Only brief geomagnetic instability, a minor flux gate variation, a bit of solar plasma penetration at the red spikes. The sunspot number is 106. There are a lot of active regions on the Earth-facing side of the sun, and NOAA might as well not even label active regions if they're not going to do it properly. NOAA. Either this is two or three separate active regions, or the whole is clearly beta gamma, and still likely delta there in the center. This region up north doesn't exactly look nice either, and she's got a shadow peering over the limb, south matching tit for tat. Otherwise, no major solar events to report. However, beyond coronal holes, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, we have got to watch the magnetic plasma filaments for eruption and hydro flare. They are just as dangerous, and look at this thing. Don't forget, folks, we are waiting for another CME to impact Earth from the M6 flare days ago. Geomagnetic storms are possible, and here you are watching the future. Mars will be closer and closer each night to Saturn and Spica till August 14th, where it meets. Quake Watch is about done, folks. That's the news. Be safe.